Good morning, everybody. Friday here in the stock market. Market this morning up slightly. We're heading into a long three day weekend. If you didn't know, there is no trading on Monday. There is no trading on Monday for Memorial Day weekend, but today for Memorial Day on Monday, Memorial Day weekend this weekend. But today we got that god awful orange on for the god awful Orioles. Let's trade. <laughs> BYND, give me another drop. Let's even get under 147 here on a drop. It's trying. Let's even get in here. 146.58. Okay, I am long here. BYND, 50 shares. One. 46.58, so 145, I think, on the ad. One forty eight we'll put a sell out. Let's even get it back up to 148. It's trying. 40 cents away on the ask. 20 cents away on the ask. Right, I'm going to sell half there down to half now. So we'll see if that other half can get up through 148. All right, Billy didn't get to where I was looking for there. Cancel that one out. Now I'm just kind of looking to close this BYND trade. Not acting how I want it to. All right, so taking it out there, just a small win in BYND. I'm going to grab a Tesla call here. See what happens with it. In at 445, 630 calls. Look to add under four. All right, adding in there. Now I have two at an average of 422. Not looking good. Need to get up through six twenty eight fifty or stop below six twenty seven fifty. Kind of seems like a 
whichever one of those is the one that's going to work or not work for me. There's 628.50, can it get up through there? Well, a little bit of a nothing break up there. Okay, here we go. Let's get the premiums up now. Looking for 440 just to cover out here. All right, so getting out of Tesla there. Not my greatest trade there on those Tesla options, but getting out okay. Watching GME really falling off here. See if it drops a bit lower. Possible dip by long. Small, small size. It's GME. So you can get below 248. All right, I'm gonna grab a dip by here, GME. Got it at 247.30. Look to add 245-ish. See, it gets below 245. Put a sell out there just below 250 in case it pops back up. All right, I'm just going to take it right there. I was a little worried it wasn't going to get up there, and I got to go get the daughter real quick, so I'll be right back. All right, so I'm going to call it there. Nothing uh, really all that special today, and really none of them, none of the trades were all that great today. Uh, starting off with what was it, BYND this morning? Decent spot on the dip buy, it just wasn't working how I wanted it. Eventually, did do the big pullback that I was looking for, but not before it broke down lower a bit, and just wasn't really acting like I was expecting it to. I was expecting more of this bounce, kind of without this junk in between, without this consolidation, consolidation. So, BYND not. Not all that great there, just making a little bit of money on a little bit of share size and then missing out on all the move. Then we went over to some Tesla calls, and this move here, I thought the it was getting ready to consolidate and turn back up right here. The market was going up pretty strong at that time and decided to dip and then give me a little bounce off of that dip, and so just got out of those for a small win as well. And then finally on GME, same story, same story. All dip buys here, none of them wanted to bounce how I wanted, so... In the end, it's three trades, making almost $100 on three trades. So I guess I guess that's all right, but uh, kind of disappointing in all of them. They all could have been much better, but they also all could have been worse. So unfortunately, that's how I'm going to end my week. And uh, only two trading days this week, and now right into a three-day weekend already, which is kind of frustrating. I was sitting around here. I really wanted a four-trade Friday. Just couldn't find that fourth trade. But uh, hopefully you guys had a great week of trading. Make sure you hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you later.